Hello everybody, Redstone here, and welcome back to more Earthdown. Last part, we got to Dungeon Man, it was a long time ago. And now we're in it, and I actually uh, got rid of some items and got some new equips for uh, us. So, um, Sophie has a new weapon, and uh, Connor does too, and Mary and Sophie are both in the chat right now, so... Hello! Hello! <laughs> So here we go, we're fighting, We just uh, can't see anything. Yeah, because they're both in. So, uh... From my experience, I want to take out the scalding coffee first. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like all your members. Now I should take out the mystical record. Mm-hmm. And there we go. Hey, Sophie. Yeah? You have 169 health. <sighs> <laughs> My statistics show that about 70% of the people go to the right first. Brick Road. Keep on- keep this board in mind. Brick Road. Okay. I mean, it's a statistic. Even though you can't- Ah. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick Road. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. Brick Road. Okay, Brick Road. Place an item at the dead end and you are free to take it whenever you want. Brick Road. Say so what now? There's some Molokian soup. Nick takes it. If you have a little bit of space, so, uh, you know, whenever you have a chance, just sculpt it down. Alright, uh, I came to this first f fork in the road. Uh, magic butterfly, but I've already slept. Fly so. up and then go down and go to the four ropes. Well, I don't know where the four ropes are. Oh, there's a little, uh, present here. What's this say? Fly up the incline, so... There's a useful item in the dead end after you take quite a long walk. Brick road. In the present, there's a couple life noodles! That's yep. very useful. There we go. Sophie, you keep taking everything, you freaking hoarder. Ooh, there's a door. While you explore the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop, Brick Road? I wonder why I'm in the I'm in the I'm in this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is my What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. <laughs> That's the guy from Moonside. The huh. one that was asking if he was a man. Ah. But I don't think like. There's no proof that it is him. Okay, where do I even go here? Oh my lord, there's presents everywhere. Present? Cuckoo clock! I hate your guts, Cuckoo Clock. Thank you. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Brick Road. Two words have never been written on a video game billboard. <laughs> I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left billboard. <laughs> Brick Road. <laughs> Neither could I. <laughs> Nick opened the present. There's a super what? plush bear inside. Sophie, you took the super plush bear. Yay! <laughs> Delayed response. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, what's this? You want the present? There's a snake inside, so if you take it. Snake! Snake! Why would I take that? Because you like all living creatures. Because there were no badges, badges, or mushrooms, mushrooms. <laughs> oh. I want the mushrooms. Oh, of course. Of course you want the mushrooms. You got a plush bear, Sophie. I do want that more. <laughs> So, feet took. Wait, is that a present or an item? That is a present. I was like running away from it. Five. <laughs> wow, that's a useful present. We all got five bucks. Amazing. Okay, now I'm at four ropes. Let's read the signs here. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Brick Road. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Brick Road. The grass is always greener on the other rope. Ah, damn it. <laughs> There's only one way that isn't a dead end, but the dead ends are quick, 
Don't feel bad. Alright, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe, if he hollers, let him go, my mother said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Third one it is. Your mother is smart. So I know? Alright, what's this? This is the second floor of my body, Brick Road. Well, that's information. Okay. Where are we heading? Should we go up or down from here? Hmm. Check. What is a dungeon and what makes my eternal question prick rope? We got ten bucks from that present. I'm guessing I went the right way. Yeah. Wow. Miss Billboard that tells you that items that are easy to reach are usually disappointing. Prick rope. Near, you're standing right around my belly button. Brick road. <laughs> Interesting. I've always wanted to stand on a man's belly button. This music is one of my f greatest accomplishments. Brick road. It doesn't sound that appealing to me. The smell of flowers here. If you can sm can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. Brick road. All right. So there's a rope. I'm guessing I go up the rope. Um, go around for a second and, and go up. Sorry? What? Um, I think if you go, like, over a little bit and up, there might be something. There's oh, a sign. Okay. There's just a sign. Okay, never mind then. Good. Alright, let's check what's here. Dungeon exploration is tough, but it's also fun. Brick Road. There's a PSI Carmel inside. Connor takes it. Okay, we are on the third floor. What's this? Mad Duck. They can be a nice pet if they stay far away. Brick Road. This is the third floor of my body. Brick Road. Gruff Goat. These are really gruff kind of goat. Brick Road. Thank you so much. That was very useful information. Sophie would love that area. Oh, but I love about it. It's a zoo. It's oh, awesome. Bunch of ducky and cuff coats and little piles of puke. Ew! I found the piles of puke. Whoops. But they're far away. There's a wet towel inside, but there's too much stuff already. Is wet towel useful? Not really, only if you have some strokes, but you can use, uh, thigh uh, healing alpha. Hey, oh well. Oh my, why oh am I taking a bit of lag here? Okay, up this. What the heck is that? That face is mine, feel free to talk to it. Brick Road. Um, welcome. And he will be. Long time no see, Mr. Connor. We met in Winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Dr. Ananuts finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump into that hole. And walk out. Okay. Wait, which hole? Which hole? Uh... The one yeah. that you can go into? Well, uh, there's two, so... I wanna... There's one you can't go into. Oh, uh, okay. Is that a billboard in the road? Oh my! I jumped right on a monster when I jumped down here. Uh, you confronted the enraged fire hydrant. Fire plug. Oh, you remember him? Uh? Moonside. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna need some so freeze. I'm gonna need some freeze beta on him, and Connor, you can shoot the fire hydrant. Whoa. Whoa. That was. <laughs> Sophie can kill him in one hit with freeze. Good job. Mm -hmm. What's in here? Oh, there's an IQ capsule. I need that. Yeah, uh. Katana. Friggin', what can I, what can I get rid of really quick? Uh, let's get rid of the snake. Use the soup, too. Oh, the soup, yeah. Where is that? Where is that? 
soup, 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 soup. Make soup. someone eat it. I know that you need to eat it too. What color soup? I use it on Connor. Okay. Well, I'm allergic to seafood. So <laughs> eat it. All right, here we go. Sudden gut IQ capsule <laughs> and give to. I'm not sure. If, well, if I hit use, will it give me the option to use it on Connor? Um, I believe so. But I okay, good. There, it did. Okay, Yay! Good. More IQ for Connor. Yep. Now we'll fix some bit like better stuff. Okay, now where do I go? I gotta leave Dungeon Man. Yes, oh my god, he's following me. Alright, where do I go now? Up or down? Wait till you get in the battle. Up or down? South. Yes, south. South? Okay. Oh, here's the battle. Okay, um... UFOs. Um... Rock and Beta. No, go for that. What? What? Bash them? Yes. Oh good, they're hitting the super plush bear. Thank you. What's that? Whoa. Oh my god. Is that who did the smash attack? Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Dungeon man. <laughs> Kraken soup. Alright. I didn't know that a dungeon could be that strong. Alright, where do we go? Here, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah. Oh. You keep it Gorg. Oh no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Mm, I cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it's, it is okay. Nick, I'm, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. Okay, now where? Uh. Talk to the native. Oh, there is a native here. Oh, hello. A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very strong and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river even though you know it's a stupid idea? Sure! The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. So we need a submarine. Yes. Dungeon Man? Yes. But ask them not to have screen doors on it. A submarine, I believe, that I have one of my old vehicle collection, please enter. No problem, Dungeon Man. So we have to I make a... The whole dungeon again. Oh, great. Alright, here we go. Dungeon Man, take two. Super plushy bear is really strong. <laughs> take so many hits. Here we go, let's... Aw, oh, man, we got enemies. We got hostiles! <laughs> okay. Bash, bash. Whoa, whoa, we gotta hit the scalding cop. And uh, you can shoot. Sophie... Whoa, Sophie! Hmm? You hit stronger than me! Awesome! D that's not fair! <laughs> that's a better weapon! How do I get a good weapon? Um, I think the next time you have to trade a whole bunch of horns of life for, um, a fat that a certain person has. Alright. But, it's after a while. Okay, where do we even go? I forgot. Um, we're going all the way up to the main base, and then we're gonna go down the other hole. Y yes. Um, I'm trying to figure out my way. Oh. There we go. Found it. Don't be afraid to use the benches. Here we go. We're almost there. I'm surprised. There's, I've only fought in like one enemy or two or some count. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Well, this is supposed to be a fun little, like, diversion. The first floor gave me the most enemies, and now there's none. <laughs> All 
Alright, here we go. We're at Dungeon Man's Head again. Hello, Dungeon Man. There's an old submarine in the back of the, of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over here. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make the mistake on which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. Well, we're saying goodbye. So. Alright, so now that one's open. Okay. I got you. Read the sign. Goodbye exit. Someday you should enter with courage. Brick Road. Ah. Uh, Burn. Ouch. It hurts. I'll fight you, Brick Road. Okay, where am I? Oh, there we are. Should probably and nick open the present. There's a talisman ribbon inside, but there's too much. Should I give that to Sophie? Oh, that's a Okay, uh. You did it. Uh, should I get rid of her lucky? Wait, what platinum band? Which one does it? Uh, slot does it take up? Um, it's the head. Thing. Wait, I could just get rid of her uh, viper, her snake. Yes. Yeah. Drop. Snake. No. <laughs> Check. Anyway, there's a talisman room, so we take it. Equip that, Sophie. Other talisman room. Wait, did that do good or bad? Lucky coin. Oh my. Okay, good. Do do brown brown. It would be bad as if you put it on June. Huh? He doesn't like those things. Well. Snob. <laughs> what a snob. All right, we got a yellow car. A what's this? Signs. Okay, reading signs. Old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. Brick road. Taxi with no engine. Beautiful, even though it can't run. Ooh, bike. Rusty bicycle. Rust is the perf perfect brake. <laughs> nice. The gift from Doctor Enron. Be careful how you use it. Revitalizing machine thingy. It works, so... It works? Yeah. Instant revival only if you against... Cool! Got it! But you're still hungry. <laughs> Alright, check. Broken down old submarine. Yellow color is purely coincidental. Ah! <laughs> uh... so it's not like the person who made this game adores the Beatles or anything. <laughs> The Beatles. Nick and his friends carried the submarine outside that Connor fixed. I was doing most of the work because I'm really buff. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. We're in the submarine. Looks like Flood from Super Mario Sunshine. Slightly. Okay. Now, the thing about the darkness, when you can't see your uh, little character's face, they're losing, I think, I think 5 HP for red, like, you know. Oh no, so it's like poison. Slightly, so as soon as you get your head above, like, so they can breathe. Oh, I, get, I guess, I guess we're here. Like I said, there's not much you can do to stop it. We're here, so, uh... Yep. Um, there's a monkey and a bird. Oh, the bird has a phone on its head. Ring, ring. <laughs> monkey. Monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night? Wow. All right. So, um, we can go for four more minutes, but um, I think... Oh, I would stop. Yeah, I said I was about to stop, so... In the next part, we'll tackle deep darkness. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.